Teenagers and young adults who vape face a much higher risk of COVID-19 than those who don't. CBS 17 is digging deeper. Our Bridget Chapman joins us live from Wake Med with a new study highlighting this problem. Bridget. Angela, local doctors have been paying attention to health concerns due to vaping for a while here. But now with a new study from Stanford University, there are even more concerns. It's not uncommon for Wake County teens to vape or have friends who vape. I have a couple friends that do use it and especially classmates and those around me, you know, they constantly vape. According to a new study from Stanford University, teens and young adults who vape are five to seven times more likely to get COVID-19. The fact that a lot of teenagers have that belief that, you know, we're not going to be affected by COVID because we're really young. Um, I think that study completely changed things around and it showed us that no, we can all face COVID. Doctors say the reason those who vape could be more prone to COVID-19 is because they touch their face more often. Some share their devices with others and e-cigarette use can cause lung damage. The uh, body's ability to clear uh, pathogens in the ways that, that the body protects itself are impaired in those who smoke and who vape. The study is a cause for real concern. Matthew Myers with the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids says it's time for change. Youth use of e-cigarettes, particularly flavored e-cigarettes, is at a crisis level. Advocates and doctors say vaping is dangerous as is, but especially during a global pandemic. So I strongly recommend that those engaging in the use of e-cigarette and other tobacco products uh, consider this a wonderful time to explore the benefits of quitting. Advocates also say that they would like to see the flavored vaping products removed from the shelves. They also think it would be good to take a look at the mental health issues and reasons that are behind teens turning to vaping. For more information on this study, head over to our website. Just click on this story. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.